I chose to study at De Montfort University because first of all it is where there's location. So DMU is based in Leicester which is such a diverse city and there's always something going on, lots of different festivals, lots of different faiths. So it was really nice to be in that environment. Also the university is campus based so that means that all the buildings are in one area. So it was really nice because as I would walk from one building to another, I, could, I would see familiar faces, I would see my friends. So it was really nice to see that and it wasn't like this really big scary place. In terms of audiology specifically, I did choose to study that at De Montfort University because of the facilities in audiology. So we have uh, soundproof booths and even like the equipment such as otoscopes. We've got video otoscopes so you can actually see a person's ear on a computer screen. We've also got a lot of vestibular equipment which might not even be in NHS clinics at the moment so this was a really important reason of why I decided to study there. I also studied audiology at De Montfort University because of the reputation of the lecturers. So a lot of the lecturers have done PhDs and are doctors which shows the depth of knowledge they have in the course. So this was quite reassuring that I know that I am getting taught by people who know what they're doing. Secondly, my lecturers are quite approachable, so whenever I had any problems or issues, I didn't hesitate to go and ask them. Also, the lecturers are like a big family, so it's not scary to go and ask anyone for advice because when you do go to the office, it's such a nice atmosphere. Everyone talks to everyone and there's always laughs and jokes, and that was really nice. During my time at university a lot of renovations were going on um, on different buildings around the campus and now it's come to a point where it's all the buildings are made and it looks amazing so you've got a food village where you've got a variety of food that's different every day so it's a really nice atmosphere when you go in there. We have got a building called the Student Gateway so here you can go for any concerns that you might have during your time at university. So when people first move away from home they can be quite anxious and quite nervous about moving away from family. So you can actually book meetings with the um, advisors there and they can take you through any sort of issues that, that you might have. We also have um, a really good library so we've got books on all the courses and um, if it's audiology related we've got a lot of journals on audiology as well. We also have um, a mathematician that works in the library, so any concerns that you might have about your course, if it's including maths, you can actually book an appointment with them and have your concerns addressed. I have been offered a range of opportunities by DMU, so some of these include part-time work, so when you are living away from uni it can be quite costly, especially with paying rent and travelling back and forth to home. So I actually worked as a student ambassador for the three years I've been at university. So here I gave tours um, to students around the campus and helped out when students came to the campus just to show them different an insight of university. I also worked um, at the student union reception. So that was really good at developing skills as well as making a bit of extra money on the side. De Montfort University also do opportunities such as DMU Global where they send students abroad to gain skills. So this was um, audiology based because we were sent to Vancouver for about eight days where we did attend um, a conference of audiology and meeting different professionals from around the world was a great experience. And I also got to meet Harvey Dillon, and Harvey Dillon is the author of a book that we do study um, at university, so that was really nice meeting him. If I was going to encourage a friend to study audiology at DMU, the main thing I would say is the structure of the course. So with the course, you have theory at the beginning and then you have a placement. I think it's important that you have a long placement because you've got all that time to develop any clinical skills. Also, we were taught to class the placement as one long interview and we get to show how we have developed over the 40 weeks to the people that are observing us.